Once upon a time, there was a Zen master who was known for his wisdom and tranquility. People from far and wide would seek his guidance on matters of the heart and mind. One day, a troubled young woman approached the Zen master, seeking advice on how to let go of her pain and find peace. The Zen master invited her to sit beside him in his beautiful garden. He looked at her and said, Tell me, my dear, what is troubling you? Why do you seek the art of letting go? The young woman replied, tears welling up in her eyes. Master, I carry within me a deep sorrow. I have lost someone dear to me, and I cannot shake off the grief. Every waking moment, I am consumed by the memories and the pain. I want to find a way to let go and find peace in my heart. The Zen master listened attentively, his kind eyes gazing at her with compassion. He reached out and picked up a delicate flower from a nearby bush and held it in front of her. Tell me, he said, what do you see? The young woman looked at the flower, its petals vibrant and its fragrance sweet. I see a beautiful flower, master, she replied. The Zen master smiled and said, indeed, it is a beautiful flower. But tell me, my dear, what if I were to pluck this flower from its stem and hold it tightly in my hand, refusing to let it go? What would happen to the flower? The young woman pondered for a moment and replied, Master, if you held onto the flower tightly, it would wither and die. Its beauty would fade, and its fragrance would be lost. The Zen master nodded and said, Precisely. The art of letting go is like releasing the flower. Just as holding onto the flower tightly brings about its demise, clinging tightly to your pain and sorrow will only cause more suffering. True peace and healing lie in letting go. The young woman looked deep into the Zen master's eyes, seeking guidance. But how do I let go, master? How can I release the pain that has consumed me? The Zen master gently placed the flower back on the bush and turned his attention to the young woman. He spoke softly, letting go begins with acceptance. Acceptance of what has passed, acceptance of your pain, and acceptance of the impermanence of all things. Understand that holding on to the past will not change it. It will only rob you of the present moment and prevent you from embracing the beauty that life still holds for you. He continued, practice forgiveness, both for others and for yourself. Holding on to resentment and blame will keep you trapped in a cycle of suffering. By forgiving, you release the burden of anger and allow yourself to move forward with an open heart. The young woman took in the Zen master's words, and a glimmer of hope appeared in her eyes. Thank you, master. I will strive to embrace acceptance and forgiveness. I understand now that by letting go, I can find peace and heal my heart. The Zen master smiled warmly, his presence radiating tranquility. Remember, my dear, the art of letting go is a lifelong practice. Each day, choose to release what no longer serves you and embrace the beauty of the present moment. In doing so, you will find the serenity you seek. And so, the young woman left the Zen master's garden with a renewed sense of purpose. She embarked on a journey of self-discovery, embracing the art of letting go and finding peace in her heart once more. This is God of Motive. Thanks for watching and stay focused.